What's going on guys? It's your boy Adrian back again for another Alchemy Stars video and for today I will present to you my work in progress comprehensive water unit tier list. Units are rated based on content of the game such as story quest, event quest, secret territory, spire, elysium, end game mode, and also I've added a bonus of waifu has bando category. Units max breakthrough are also considered. It is still a work in progress because there are some gaps that needs to be filled, such as the ratings per units in the Elysium category. I am not an expert in Elysium, nor do I clear most of the stages there, so this is blank and I will leave it up to your comments and suggestions regarding this one. And just a disclaimer that chair lists are pretty much subjective, it varies from person to person. You may agree or disagree with me and it's fine, so take it with a grain of salt. So with all of that being said, let's now start the list. The list is arranged alphabetically. Let's start with Alura. Alura is pretty good, especially you can max her out easily if you play the Dune Part Strike event. I rated her A plus for story, events, secret territory, and spire. I don't know how good she is in Elysium, so I leave it at blank. And also, we haven't tested her yet in the end game mode. So I leave it as blank as well. And in terms of waifuness, she's S chair for me. She looks that good. Next we have Barton. Since max breakthrough is considered, Barton is top tier. Preemptive cross style converter are so OP in this game. Especially in end game mode. That is why I rated Barton at SSS chair in that chair. He only pulls up in Dust Bando chair but he still looks pretty good especially on his paid skin. Next we have Carlene. Carlene is one of the broken units in the game if and only if you value her utility which is preemptive global teleport with tile conversion. She deserves this kind of rating especially like Barton. In end game mode, she's really broken. In terms of waifuness, She's not the best, don't hate me on this, we all have our own preferences. But she still looks awesome, especially her ties is very thick. Next we have Chloe. Chloe is good. Her attack buff is pretty useful and nothing to scoff at. In terms of waifuness, she's really not that my type. I'm sorry Chloe and I'm sorry Chloe stands. Don't hate me on this. Next we have Connolly. Connolly is probably the worst 6 star unit in the game, but she has her uses. Inspired, that is why she is at Esther there. And her redeeming factor is that she is very much a uh, very waifu. It's just sad that she's kinda underwhelming despite how good she looks. But anyway, Sturdog is buffing some underwhelming units. So Connolly might get some buffs later on. A man can dream. Next on the list, we have Constantine. Constantine is good, but sadly, he gets overshadowed by Vice and Alura, who are both free and easy to max, and has higher stats than him. In terms of Hasbandoness, he's okay. Next, we have Korax. Korax is really good. A detonator with global teleport. He is just overlooked since Sharona and Pilishai exist. But if you don't have those two units, he is a beast. And also, he looks good, that's why I gave him the S-chair treatment in the Asbando category. Next, we have Best Boy, Plur. Plur is really strong, but he is not uh, the broken tier. He is also pretty good in endgame mode, albeit he is the best sniper to bring there. And yep, he is at the top in terms of aesthetics. He is one of my favorite as Bando, so he is at the SS chair in that category. Next, we have Hydrad. Hydrad is one of a kind broken unit. Not only he looks really good, the things that he can bring to the team are unrivaled since no one else in the water team can buff the two times chain combo. Unless a 6 star unit comes with the same skill kit that he has, he will stay on the top of the list as one of the best. Next on the list, we have Jane. Jane is pretty good for a 4-star unit. Don't sleep on her. 
Recently, in the wave battle event, she sees some plays because of her stacking mechanics. And her pre-skin is gorgeous. That is why I rated her high in waipuness. Next, we have Kleken. Kleken is one of the best style converters in the game. You might be wondering why he's only at Esther in the Spire. But I find it annoying that the mobs gets frightened and runs away. But other than that, he is pretty great. The sad thing is, I don't find his looks to be very good. Because uh, he looks like a pervert that loves tentacle plays. You know what I mean. Please don't hate me on this. Next, we have Corgon. Not only is he ugly, he is not that good. So, teacher, I'm not discriminating, guys. Uh, don't quote me on this. Next, we have Kuma and Pengi. They are not that good. And also, their tile convert is useless if you are fighting a single boss. And not only that, I don't find their looks to be good also. Next, we have Mi Micheni. Micheni is a good tile converter, although sadly, it is RNG dependent. And Water has a lot of tile converters also that can do better than her. At least, she looks good. She reminds me of Blue Poison from Arknights. Next, we have Miss Blanc. Miss Blanc is pretty good for a pre-starter unit. And just like in the case of Micheni, there are a lot of tile converters in the water team that can do better than her. Also, I don't find her waipuness to be top tier. I'm sorry, Miss Blanc Sims. Please don't hate me for this. Next on the list, we have Noah. Sadly, I believe Noah is the worst five star in the game. Her kit isn't that useful and there are no game modes where it is needed. Out of all the 5 stars in the game, I think they need to buff her. Next, we have Pilishai. She's one of the broken units in the game. She can be bought for $1 in the shop. And she's worth it. Her utility is top-notch, preemptive global teleport with a lot of healing. She sees a lot of play in the last end game mode that we had. That is why I rated her at SSS in that game mode. She reminds me of Tanya the Goreshap from uh, Saga of Tanya the Evil, if you will see her uh, A3 art. And it's one of my favorite anime, so this, she deserves this S plus rating in waipuness. Don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying Tanya is my waipu, I'm not a lolicon. Just making sure this is clear. And Pilishai ain't even a loli. Next, we have Raphael. Raphael is really good at max breakthrough. She's pretty broken in end game mode since you can just reset until you get tool, until you get good tile RNG. She's a loli and I've said I'm not a lolicon so I've rated her low in the waifu category. Although, she's kinda cute though. Next, we have Regal. He is top tier. He is free. He is arguably the best legendary Aurorian in my opinion. Put him on your team in any game mode and he can wreck havoc. He is that good even though he only has damage in his arsenal. He is the only unit I braided in Elysium so since I know he is really good there. He is also one of the best looking as Bandos so I braided him high in that category. Next we have Sariel. She is one of the best and one of the most used style converters in the water team. There really is nothing much to say about her. She is that good. In terms of waipuness, she looks really good also but not the best in my taste. Next, we have Black Panther. I mean Seleucid. Not only he doesn't fit my taste, he's not that good also. Next, we have Sharona. Sharona is one of the best DPS units in the water team. A detonator with teleport is really strong. That is why I've rated her this high. In terms of waipuness, she looks pretty good especially with her paid skin. Next, we have Vice. Vice is pretty solid especially since she is a pre and you can easily max her out. In terms of waipuness, she looks pretty good especially with her two skins available in the battle pass. Next, we have White Dwarf. He is not that good and I'm not a Shotacon. I'm sorry, White Dwarf. And last but not the least, we have Soya. Soya for a pre-starter unit is good. She can be your budget healer if you don't have Pilishai. 
In terms of weaponess, she's okay but not my type. And that concludes my comprehensive water unit tier list. And I've said earlier, I need some feedback regarding the Elysium category. And as always, please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace!